What's up guys, John Rettinger here with the five words I never thought I'd say. I'm excited about a Zune, the new Zune HD. Since I last filmed my Twitter questions video and I talked about the Zune, more information has kind of come to light and videos of the device itself have actually been released. So some of the specs, it's got a 3.3 inch OLED, which stands for organic LED. It's the screen you're starting to see in a lot of cell phones. It's a brighter, less battery-intensive, non-backlit screen. And in this case, it's a capacitive screen similar to what's found on the iPhone and the T-Mobile G1. It's got a 16 by 9 ratio, which is very nice, and a resolution of 1480 by 272. So it actually is a relatively high-res device, although it's certainly not capable of showing HD on the device itself. It is capable of 720p HD output. Meaning if you have an HD video on it, hook it up to your TV, it'll come out in 720p, assuming your TV can show that resolution. It also has a built-in HD radio, which is kind of cool. HD radio is this new thing that I think the terrestrial radio sort of came out with to compete with satellite radio. It's frequencies really in between frequencies. You need a special radio to be able to get them. It's new programming. A lot of it is very music intensive or talk intensive and less commercials. It also has the Zune features that you know and may love or not love. Wireless, it's got wireless syncing, it's got the Zune store on there, and you can share devices wirelessly with your friends. This version of the Zune, the Zune HD, also has a built-in web browser, which is based off of, I hate to say it, Internet Explorer, which I am not a big fan of. I think Pocket Internet Explorer is awful on Windows mobile devices. But I'm very curious to see how it looks on the Zune HD. Microsoft is claiming this device will have multi-touch, so it'll be able to pinch and zoom around and double tap to zoom on the web browser. Also, it has a picture viewer with a full accelerometer that you, know, you can turn, change the devices, and you can flip through, which sounds like a very, very, very familiar scheme that I've heard on a few other devices may have that. I'm um, not going to mention any names. Microsoft hasn't come out with pricing on this yet. Really don't know storage capacity or any of that yet either. But Microsoft is scheduled to make an announcement at this coming E3, which is the Electronics Entertainment Expo, which will be held next week in Los Angeles. I would expect some sort of games or Xbox integration to be launched with the device. Possibly even some sort of app store to launch with it and rival the iPod Touch since that is clearly the competitor here. The Zune HD, actually it's a very elegant looking device. I've never been a fan of the way the Zunes looked, but this Zune HD actually looks very nice. It ditches all the old buttons and the little touchpad that they had on the previous gen device and it really goes back to, well I'm going to say the Apple one button. It's got one button in the middle and that's where you do to go back to your menu. It does look to be a really nice device. And all these nice things I'm saying about it are fantastic, but at the end of the day, I can't use it. I can't buy a Zune, I can't get a Zune, because there isn't any Mac client for it. So that is quite unfortunate. I would expect that if Microsoft is looking to get this a little more mainstream, they will eventually release a Mac client. At least I would assume so. The Zune will also come with the ability to buy a Zune Pass, meaning you can, it's a subscription service, so you can download as many songs as you want for around 15 bucks a month. You can also actually keep, I believe, 10 of those songs that you download. And of course, they are DRM free. So this is just my quick take on the Zune HD. It looks like a very sweet device. I'm actually excited about it to see one and get my hands on it. What do you think? Is it gonna make you rethink the Zune brand? The Zune name has been just drugged through the dirt. And it's gonna be hard for Microsoft to overcome that negative brand recognition. But, does the Zune HD interest you? It's something that maybe you'd like, don't like. You know, what do you guys think? I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. Anyway, this is John Rettinger, exclusive content. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.